In this video, I'll show you how to set up an evergreen single page campaign in Scarcity Samurai. An evergreen campaign is one which is not based on any fixed date. Rather, the timer begins counting down for each new user when they first arrive on your landing page. So here I am in the admin area of my WordPress site. To get started, I'll come across here and click the Scarcity Samurai button in the sidebar, which will open up the Scarcity Samurai dashboard. Under the Campaign Wizards heading, you'll see a number of options. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose the Evergreen Single Page Wizard. This allows me to add scarcity elements to an existing page or create a new page in the process. The first thing I need to do is name my campaign. This can be anything that helps me keep track of my campaigns. It's not something that will be shown to visitors to my site. I'll enter My Evergreen Funnel for now, and then I go over here and click Continue. Next, the wizard asks which page you'd like to add scarcity elements to. You may wish to create a new page, or you might like to use a page you created earlier. In this example, I'm going to use an existing page called My Sales Letter by selecting it from the drop-down menu. Now I'll come over here and click Continue. The next step is to set the page expiry, which lets you decide how long each user will have access to the page for. The actual time you select for your campaign will depend on the nature of your sales page. For example, if you've got a 5 minute sales video on your page, you might decide to make the page expire 8 minutes after the page loads. I'm going to go ahead and set the page to expire 10 minutes after a user first visits the page. Once I have done this, I need to decide what will happen when the timer reaches zero. By default, do nothing is selected. This means that once the timer reaches zero, the user will stay on the expired page indefinitely, with the counter showing zero. Redirect to a page will take the user to another page on your WordPress site when the counter reaches zero. You can either select an existing page or create a new one. The redirect to URL option will allow you to redirect the user to any URL you specify. For this example, I'm going to send the user to www.noblesamurai.com when the page expires. So I'll type in the URL and then click continue. Now it's time to set up how the scarcity banner will be displayed on the screen. If you choose in the header, the banner will be displayed at the top of the screen. If you choose in the footer, the banner will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. If you choose no banner, the page won't have a banner at all. Your scarcity timer will still count down and your page will redirect after the counter reaches zero. However, the timer won't be visible as there's no banner displayed. I'm going to select in the header as I want the banner on the top of my page. Next up is the type of banner to be displayed. You can either use the default banner or a banner you've created yourself using the customize banner link. I'm going to use a banner I created earlier called my banner. Finally, we can choose what happens when the user clicks on the banner. Do nothing means that there will be no change when the user clicks on the banner. Go to page will redirect the user to an existing or new page on your WordPress site. And the go to URL option will send the user to a URL that you specify. I'm going to choose to send users to a page called buy now. And then I'll come over here and click finish. You should now see a congratulations page and your scarcity samurai campaign is up and running. You can now copy the link that you'll be sending to users by clicking copy to clipboard which you can then insert into an email or add to a page on your website. Let's take a quick look at the end result. So here I am on my sales letter page, and here you can see my scarcity banner counting down to zero. Let's quickly jump to the end of the campaign. Okay, so now there are just a few seconds left. And when the timer expires, the user is automatically redirected to the URL selected which in this example is noblesamurai.com. And that's all there is to it. If you have any problems with this process, please don't hesitate to contact our support team at noblesamurai.com slash c slash support.